<clears throat> Hi, everyone. Uh, we're still waiting for some people to join our today's webinar. Uh, while we're doing this, uh, please, for those of you who, who has already connected to our webinar, please uh, send a plus in the chat box and uh, let me know if you can hear me and see me well. Ключик там поставился. Ну ладно, подождем. While you're checking, checking uh, the sound and the video. I can see and hear you well. Okay, 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 thank you. So uh, for those of you who, who doesn't know me, let me introduce myself. My name is Dima and I'm head of technical department at Techno UC Russia. Generally, uh, those of you who have visited our previous webinars uh, may know that usually uh, we have our demonstrations outside. And uh, in general, these are field demonstrations for the equipment, for water leak detectors. We're looking for the leakages, for cable and pipe locators. We're trying to locate the cable on our test field. And for cable fault locators, we're looking for cable damages and uh, cable breakages with uh, time domain reflectometers and uh, electromagnetic cable fault locators. But today, uh, the real Russian winter started and uh, there is a lot of snow outside. And it means that uh, usual water leakage detection demonstration is impossible because uh, the water inside our demo pipe is frozen. And uh, we, we are going to talk today uh, about the difference in uh, all water leak detectors, uh, which we have uh, represented on our website, technoec.com. So uh, if you go to technoec.com uh, to the section uh, to water leak detector section uh, you will see that um, there are several models of equipment uh, which almost completely uh, represented here so uh, if you go to this section you may find the following equipment uh, success AT107 uh, success 407, uh, 434N, uh, 435.15N, and uh, TPT 522N. So there are five uh, models of equipment which we propose and which we offer for uh, an international market. And today uh, we are going to discuss uh, what's the difference and uh, what's what's the set compliance of each uh, each model before uh, moving to the actual equipment i would like to say that all techno ec water leak detectors are based on one working principle and this principle is acoustic water leak detection it means that if uh, the water is passing through the pipe with at least two bar pressure and if this pipe has some damage the water which will be coming uh, which will be leaking through the hole inside the pipe will be creating uh, some noise some particular noise and all uh, leak detectors uh, by techno ec they are designed to detect this noise so uh, this is not like water detection system. It is like water noise detection system. So uh, those of you who have visited our previous webinars may remember that I, I have described several steps for a successful water leakage location. And one of these steps was uh, locate the normal flow of the water. Because before locating the higher noise of the leakage, you have to know how uh, the actual normal uh, water flow sounds. So we know 
uh, I already told you that there are five models of leak, detect leak detectors by Techno EC. I also told you that uh, all of them are based on the acoustic location principle. And you may ask, what's the difference? What's the difference between these models of equipment if they're, they're all the same in the basic method of application? And I would say that they're different. They're different and they have different accessories and uh, different applications, different additional applications besides uh, usual acoustic water leak detection. And uh, now I propose to move to the actual equipment and uh, we will start with the most basic, uh, but at least, uh, but uh, although functional model, which we have here, it is AT107. So AT107 uh, features AP14 digital receiver and uh, ADM sensor, which is an acoustic sensor with detachable uh, extension probe, metal extension probe. So it's a magnet, you can remove it. Uh, also, uh, this equipment supports the headphones, your usual headphones, which are used to listen to the noise of the leakage. So all you have to do is to connect your headphones, connect your sensor, and uh, you just turn on the device and you can see the LED scale here which actually represents uh, the noise level which is acquired by the acoustic sensor. Generally, this is uh, the most affordable and uh, the most um, easy to use uh, water leak detection equipment. And uh, mostly we recommend to use it uh, inside the buildings uh, in order to locate the leakages uh, in the piping, which is uh, made inside the walls of the buildings. Uh, but for underground leak detection, I wouldn't recommend this device because um, generally uh, we have better solutions for that. And uh, generally, usually you require more accurate uh, digital filtering uh, of the acoustic signal, which is not supported by this device. So. This is just an inspection device, which may help you to locate the leakage uh, in uh, the wall. If there is a pipe in the wall and you will be able to hear it in your headphones and to see on your LED uh, screen or LED indication. Also, there is a specific, uh, specific feature for this device. Um, this device is also used to locate uh, the proper closing of uh, the valves. For example, you're having a valve in the manhole uh, which completely uh, shuts uh, the water supply. And you know that this valve is old and it may, it may not be properly closed. This device will help you to understand that. All you have to do is touch uh, the valve with this sensitive element, the tip uh, of this rod, and the device will indicate uh, an acoustic signal level to you uh, so you could understand if the valve is properly closed. So generally, this is some kind of specific application, but some companies, some users also uh, use uh, this equipment for this particular purpose. Uh, before moving uh, to the next, to the next, uh, set of equipment, I would like to say that this device is also pretty good protected. It is IP65 protected, which makes it pretty good for uh, com complicated environments. It is waterproof and uh, it, it uh, behaves uh, very good at the heat. So it's, it's kind of functional and affordable device for water leak detection. But generally, I wouldn't recommend this device for an, ex for an inexperienced user in terms of underground water leak detection. For building water leak detection, you can use it. 
it's easy and uh, it's easy to use and pretty easy to understand. But for outside location, I wouldn't recommend this. So we will put this receiver aside and we will move to another another set of equipment. So uh, the next uh, leak detector which we have uh, in our range is uh, AT407. And uh, generally, uh, this equipment is based on the AP27 receiver, uh, which, which actually transforms the acoustic signal into electromagnetic signal. Uh, so it makes the analog signal transferred to digital signal and evaluated. Uh, and uh, it makes possible to evaluate and filter this signal. Also, another important and to my mind the most effective uh, accessory in this basic set is AD227 acoustic sensor or ground microphone, as you may call it which has uh, the protective uh, silicon skirt, which protects you from the noise and from the dust, and also the bouncing sensitive element, which makes possible to hear most complicated leakages, uh, leakage noises and uh, the water flow. The procedure uh, of the location uh, was described by me in previous webinars. Generally, the process is the following. First, you locate the pipe. Then uh, you locate the normal flow of uh, the water in the pipe. Then you apply a digital filter in order to cut off all surrounding noises from uh, the normal flow of, the, of uh, the water coming through the pipe. And the last step is to locate the maximum signal maximum acoustic signal uh, of, of a flow coming through a pipe. The maximum, the most loud, the loudest uh, signal will indicate the leakage present. Um, sounds easy. And in most cases it is easy, but uh, we know that there are different situations uh, and there are also some uh, restrictions and regulations uh, recommendations which should be followed when you are going to locate the leakage. The first one is your pipe shouldn't be buried deeper than three meters. The second one, uh, the pressure inside the pipe should be at least two bars. As I told you before, uh, the pressure is completely responsible for creating for creation of acoustic noise. If the pressure is higher than two bars, then it is possible to hear the leakage for this equipment. I will turn on the receiver just to demonstrate how, um, how it works, uh, how it indicates uh, the leakage. And uh, you will be able to see uh, the spectrum window. Yeah, so uh, this is the spectrum window of uh, the receiver, this signal is uh, the signal which is coming through a ground microphone now. And uh, this mode is called spectrum mode. It means that the receiver is analyzing all the signal which, uh, which is coming in this particular range of frequency, 0 0.09 to 2.20 kilohertz. Uh, so everything every sound which is uh, which is sounding in this specter is indicated on the receiver screen. And generally when you place um, the sensor above the pipe, you will be able to see black segments on the, on the screen, which will represent the constant noise of a water flow. And all you have to do is to apply digital filters in order to cut off all the unwanted noises from uh, the signal of a normal water flow. After that, you will switch to a scale mode and you will be evaluating the black signal here in order to locate the maximum signal and in order to see where is the leakage. As I told you a couple of minutes ago, the maximum signal will indicate 
the presence of uh, the leakage noise and of the leakage itself. Uh, this is the core set for water leak detection, uh, which I strongly recommend uh, to use if you are going to locate an underground leakage. Why I am recommending it is because uh, you can use it alongside with a correlator leak detector or as a standalone device. Also, I recommend it to use uh, because most of you are working in the countries with a lot of sand and uh, this equipment has a set of accessories which are used for sandy uh, areas. Longer and shorter rods to amplify the acoustic signal and magnets uh, for the attachment of uh, the acoustic sensor to the pipe in order to hear the normal flow. Basically, this is uh, the core and the most functional leak detector which we have uh, in our range. And all other models of uh, water leak detectors by Techno EC will be based on this particular set of equipment. We will be adding some accessories which will expand uh, the the application of this equipment, but the core and the water leak detection will completely rely on this equipment. The ground microphone, digital receiver, and the headphones. I will not be putting anything aside here because this is the core set. I will also add that portable acoustic sensor, which we use for the location of the leakages inside the building, is also connectable to this AP27 receiver. It means that you can expand uh, the application of your uh, leak detector to, to the in-house location. It is also possible. Uh, for this particular set, for 407 set, uh, this accessory is sold separately, uh, but the price is not that high. It's approximately 250 USD as far as I remember and uh, you can use it for uh, the location of the leakages inside the house. So generally uh, when you are planning to buy uh, a water leak detector I would recommend buying 407N with this accessory with portable acoustic sensor. Okay I think we're done with uh, 407N or 407N. And now we're moving to 434N uh, water leak detector. As I told you, uh, the basic set of 407N is still there, but we will add another accessory, uh, which is an electromagnetic sensor, which I'm holding in my hands. Uh, this is a T-shaped sensor, which is capable of uh, energized uh, cable detection and also it is used for cathodic protection for pipes for the detection of cathodic protection of the pipes uh, this sensor uh, may help you when you're locating leakage and you may think that there may be uh, energized cable nearby so when you're locating the leakage you place the acoustic sensor meter by meter in order to hear the maximum signal of acoustic sound. But generally, uh, you may check the spot of uh, your location in order to see if there is a power cable. Because when you will be excavating the damaged section of the pipe, you may damage power cable which is laying nearby or which is coming across the pipe or alongside with the pipe. So generally this device is used for that. Also, if you want to locate the pipe, uh, some pipes are buried with cathodic protection which has a particular frequency. Uh, usually it is 100 hertz or 120 hertz. And all of these frequencies are supported by uh, AP27 uh, receiver, which, make which makes possible to locate the cathodic protection of the pipes and the pipes itself, themselves. 
this is an accessory which makes 434N out of 407N. Easy as that. I, w I will not uh, waste too much time on this set because I would like to add one more accessory uh, which makes uh, this whole equipment even more functional. And I'm speaking about a uh, familiar AG105 transmitter and the accessories for the connection of this transmitter to any cable or any pipe. Uh, this uh, equipment makes the whole set more interesting and uh, the whole set is called 435.15N and uh, the transmitter uh, makes the location of the pipe before the location of the leakage much, much easier. You just connect uh, the transmitter to your pipe, you create the electromagnetic signal inside the pipe, and you detect the signal with electromagnetic sensor. Unfortunately, uh, for this application, depth measurement is not supported, but at least you will be able to see where your pipe is going. If you remember when I was talking about uh, the four steps of water leak detection, the first step was locate your pipe. This set 435.15N completely performs this, uh, this uh, goal. You connect your transmitter to the pipe, you check the position of the pipe, and after that you go you are going to locate the leakage with acoustic sensor. The receiver automat automatically detects uh, the type of connected sensor. And supports various various uh, indications of electromagnetic signal. It is it looks the same as uh, for leak detection. Also, it supports graph, which is not visible because we're doesn't we don't have any signal on eight kilohertz here. But generally, uh, this mode has its own indication, which can be recognized. Uh, which recognizes the signal coming from the transmitter. So before the actual leak detection, you can locate your pipe and then you can switch the sensor and continue inspecting your pipe with acoustic sensor. This is a pretty good middle, middle range uh, equipment, but it works only for metal pipes and metal cables also. Um, Generally, uh, this is almost everything you need in order to inspect the pipe. You can locate it, you can inspect it, and uh, you can do anything with it um, before or after the leakage detection. But sometimes you come across the plastic pipes or non-metal pipes or any other type of the pipe which is not conducting electromagnetic signal. And uh, this is the moment uh, when you need the most powerful equipment uh, with an extra accessory uh, for the location of uh, metal and non-metal pipes. And for this particular case, we're having uh, AG144 transmitter and impact device UM112. Those of you who visited our demonstration of TPT522N, know that this is a pretty loud impact device with a transmitter which is used to locate plastic pipes. Uh, first of all, you have to expose uh, or locate the visible part of the pipe and install the impact device on the pipe by using this chain and this uh, lock. After that, you can connect your impact device to a transmitter by using this output lead. I will be doing this here for the demonstration. Then you will have to select the mode for impact device and hopefully, hopefully we will hear a bash 
when we turn on the impact device. And you can hear the, the bashes and these bashes are coming. These strikes are uh, emitting the acoustic signal through a pipe and you are able to detect this signal from underground with the ground microphone. I would like to demonstrate because uh, this looks pretty interesting. Just give me a second. I will connect uh, my acoustic sensor here. And I will turn on the, yeah, the location of uh, the plastic pipe. Uh, now, I will put my uh, sensor closer, a little bit closer to the transmitter, but not that close, and decrease the gain completely. And I will turn on the transmitter. And when you, you can see when the impact device is bashing, you can see uh, visible peaks on the screen. And these peaks are having equal intervals between each other, which means that the receiver is uh, sensing uh, the punches, the bashes, which are coming from the impact device. And if you're following these bashes, if you're following these peaks, it means that you are standing right above the pipe. If you will move the sensor away from uh, the pipe, these peaks will be lower. And it will mean that you are not following the path of the pipe and the path of the uh, acoustic signal and uh, the impact device. Also, this device is capable of location of metal pipes and cables and it is um, more powerful than the smaller transmitter also and uh, it has mechanical switches and built-in accumulators in comparison to the smaller version but its main feature is the location of plastic pipes so you can see that we have five different sets of uh, the equipment which has which have different applications, but the core of this of all of this equipment is AP27 receiver and acoustic sensor AD227, which is commonly used for water leak detection. Other accessories are used in order for the location of the pipes, uh, for the detection of plastic pipes, of metal pipes, of power cables. And generally, they use to help you to locate something, uh, not to locate the leakage. They help you to locate the pipe which you are going to inspect, or they're helping you to prevent the damage of power cable, of power cable, for example. So generally, uh, this is almost everything I was going to tell you. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I will, will be glad to reply to all of your questions. I will take my phone back for a moment, switch the camera. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I will gladly reply to all of them. You can uh, send your questions in the chat box. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Indonesia, India, Malaysia, great, great. We have most international uh, visitors today. Okay, I see, I see that uh, there are no questions in the chat box. That's a little bit sad for me because I used to reply to all of your questions. But generally, uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can send them to me in WhatsApp or um, through email. I am always available uh, through all our uh, connect contacts, connections, or in Facebook, on our website, email, everything. No questions. Great, great. 
I'm 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 proud that you are familiar with this equipment, and I'm proud that uh, you already know everything about this equipment. So I would like to say that uh, in the future, hopefully, we will have uh, the demonstration outside our building. We will be locating the cables. We will be locating the pipes. Uh, till spring, we will not have uh, demonstrations of uh, water leak detectors because uh, the winter. Uh, does not allow us to do that. And uh, we will be demonstrating mostly cable and pipe location solutions and cable fault location solutions. Uh, hopefully the ground will not be frozen. Also, we will make some training videos and we will upload them to our YouTube channel. So uh, uh, for WhatsApp number, uh, you can check the invitation email or uh, you can send us a request to info at technoec.com or you can visit our website and check out the contact us section and there you will find my whatsapp number